The briefing is against the backdrop of security breaches in a donut. Governor Baseki disclosed that appropriate sanctions will be taken against the perpetrators of Saturday's incidents while directing the reaccreditation of all vigilante groups in the state to ensure it remains a safe haven for investors. We also had reports of a situation where some health persons purportedly kidnappers took over a checkpoint and attacked some policemen on patrol. That has led government to decide on a total revamp of our vigilante structure. Only vigilante groups that have been trained in the Nigerian police training school under the arrangement with the Edo State government will be allowed to serve in Edo State. All vigilante groups and persons that have been trained so far are re required to report to the police staff college where they receive trainings for re-accreditation. Governor Baseki, who also disclosed that the briefing is an anticipatory and proactive measure ahead of heightened electoral activities across the state, appealed to members of the public to take advantage of the state's fully manned command and control center by dialing the codes 112 and 739 to report any incidents in any part of the state. The state police commissioner, Funsho Adeboye, and commander for Brigade Nigerian Army, Brigadier General Ebenezer Oduyebo, assured of complementing the efforts of the state government. We are bringing in about 4,000 policemen. And people reported that probably the, uh, too much familiarity. As elections are coming, people should go about their lawful businesses. We are very much available and continue to collaborate and to continue to support the Nigeria police in particular. Governor Baseki, in company with the service chiefs, monitored the security situation across the Benin metropolis and response time from the command and control center. Kingsley Uchebu. ITV News.